Okay, discussion boards. These are the instructions for the discussion board. You'll be doing these the first four weeks of the course, the, the fifth week, the last week of the course. This is not, uh, it's not assigned, okay? So with, with each week's discussion board, you have to do three things. The first thing is what we call the initial post, okay? And with the initial post, all you're gonna do is you're going to go to Google, you're gonna to go to the TWU library online, and you're going to find an article related to concepts from that week's assigned chapters. Some, you know, find some article that is related to uh, something from those week's assigned chapters. The article has to be less than two months old. Uh, in an initial post, you must give me the name of the article, where it came from, um, the date it was published, a link to that article, and then in one paragraph, I need a hundred word summary of the article, and in the next paragraph or paragraphs, I need a minimum 300 word discussion of how the article is related to uh, the week's chapters. So just basically apply the concepts from the textbook chapters in a 300 word discussion. Okay, this should be done by Wednesday uh, before midnight, each of the first four weeks, okay? Once you have um, the initial post done, then by Friday of that same week, you must pose a question in, in reply to someone else's uh, article that they've posted and discussed, okay? So it can be something... Something, you know, maybe there's another concept from the chapter you think fits there. So maybe ask them, well, what do you think about the application of this to this particular um, article and so on and so on. Um, so there's no link requirement for your question post. You just have to ask something related to someone else's post. OK, and then finally, and, and, I'm sorry, and that's due Friday. And finally, by Sunday, you have to do what we call the response post. In your response post, you're just answering a question that was asked that week. It can be a question that was asked related to your initial post, or it can be a question that was asked related to someone else's uh, initial post. It does not matter, okay? But your answer has to be uh, somewhat relevant to the chapter application of the chapter concepts, and it has to be at least 200 words, okay? So... Three parts, it seems like it's it's a lot, but it's really not that bad, okay? Um, you know, the finding of the chap of the article is probably the, the, the biggest part, okay? Um, know that you don't have to necessarily wait till um, each deadline to do the next component. So if, if you post your initial post on Tuesday night, for example, or Wednesday night, um, you can go and see what other initial posts have already been done and go ahead and immediately question okay uh, and then same thing if there's already a, a question that's been asked you don't have to wait till after friday to to answer uh, a particular question okay so three components uh, the initial post is worth 10 points the question post is worth five points and the uh, answer or response post is worth another 10 points okay a late penalty applies for each of these so um, if you're late with your initial post, but not with the other two, you will get 25% deducted from just that original or initial post. It has, um, it's not kind of a, a cumulative thing where if one part is, is late, the entire assignment is going to be uh, going to be noted as late. Okay, so that's it. So um, this should give you some, um, you know, skills in in searching for articles and applying uh, information. Uh, from the chapter to to articles and get some some dialogue going within the within the course. Okay, that's it.